Subscribe to smartphone tutorials and hit the notification bell icon to get instant notification. Now for me, there are two things that set a phone apart. One is a stock user interface and the hardware and the look and feel of the device. And the other aspect of it is the customization because I've been customizing devices since the Nokia N series days, that's N73, N95 and stuff like that. So right now, Poco is in such a state that it has a lot of custom ROMs available and new ROMs keep popping up every single day. One such ROM is Kraken OS, which we're going to have a look at today. This is basically an install and preview. And if there is enough interest, I will review it as well. So remember, every day in the morning, we have a video premiering at 9 a.m. on smartphone tutorials. And at six o'clock in the evening, we stream for two to three hours while gaming as well. So before we do that, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. At the same time, here's a card to my second channel that is Kratos390. Go ahead and check that channel out as well. Now, without further ado, hello awesome people. Welcome to Smartphone Tutorials. My name is Kailash. Let's get going. All right, welcome to another install and preview for the Pocophone F1. In today's video, we're going to have a look at Kraken OS for the Pocophone F1. Now, this is a new ROM. This is something I've never tried on any of the phones that I've owned in the past. So we're going to go ahead and have a first look at this particular ROM. Basic requirements, you need to have more than 50% battery. Make sure you've backed up all your data. I'm not responsible for your data loss. At the same time, you need to have an unlocked bootloader and TWRP installed along with the ROM, the G apps, the DFE with Majisk and the vendor file copied to your phone's internal memory. Now, once that is done, we will go to wipe, advanced wipe, Dalvik cache system data, swipe to wipe. And then we will go to install. And first thing that we will select is the vendor firmware, then select add more zip. And then we will select the ROM file, add more zip, open G apps, add more zip and disable force encryption. So once you've added all these four files, swipe to confirm flash. Now, of course, these four files will take time to be flashed. So please be very patient while that happens. All right, now once all the files are flashed, we will go to wipe cache in Dalvik, swipe to wipe and reboot system. Now the first boot, of course, will take anywhere between two to five minutes. So please be very, very patient while that happens. And we will also have a look at the boot animation of this new OS. Oh, they have a very, very basic Google boot animation. Now, as I mentioned in my previous video as well, whenever you install DFE with Majisk, it's very normal for the phone to show up the boot animation once and then reboot and then do the boot completely. So this boot will take anywhere between two to five minutes. So please be very patient while that happens. All right, so as you can see, we we are on the home screen of Kraken ROM. That is what the name is. We do have the Google feed. The launcher we are using is a launcher launcher. And if we swipe up from the top, the theme is very, very pixel esque. So it's not a black theme as of now. And we have extremely low number of applications, but something very fascinating, something very good that I see over here is Gcam is included by default. And then we have a few basic applications like Play Store, Majisk, Settings and Sim Toolkit and the Google app and FM radio and the file manager. So we don't really have anything else apart from that. So this is a extremely, extremely deep loaded ROM is what we have. And if we go to settings over here, you will notice that this is Android 9 with a security patch of 5th of June. And then if we go to settings and have a look around here, you do have digital well-being and all the other goodies. But what I do see over here is there is no separate customization menu that I see. So this is very, very basically something like Lineage OS maybe, because even Lineage doesn't have a lot of customization. Even if we go to system over here, See over there, you have advanced restart and all the other options. You have buttons, customization, system profiles, status bar. This is the AOSP ROM is what they are saying, which has Google Cam pre-installed and I believe it is working just fine as well. There you go. So Gcam is there. All the basic AOSP, you know, features of uh, Android 9 are there. We do have launcher launcher, which does allow you to do a lot of customization as you can see over here launcher has grown to get a lot of features and functions over the years and uh, as far as this rom is concerned i would give it you know 515 when it comes to 
basic smooth navigation and feel and touch because this is something like lineage os which you can install and then you can go ahead and customize it your own way because even if we go to the app drawer you will see that there is nothing related to kraken over here there is no big print or anything of that sort which will tell you that this is a different rom we do have network and internet connected devices battery display so you do have live display and all the other things so there are okay so you do have ambient display for new notifications so it's not that it's completely like lineage os the customization is there but unlike other custom roms this this rom follows a very very basic way of allowing you to customize it that means it doesn't have a separate menu for customization but it does have customization in its own way for example if you go to display the additional features of this rom will be mentioned over there say if you go to connected devices or say if i were to go to sound there you go so you know you do have all the other customizations maybe it's not as much as uh, project siberia or AOSP Extended or Havoc OS or Resurrection Remix or any other ROM for that matter. But yes, the customization is there. MI Sound Enhancer is there. So they have made this a very, very unique combination of a very, very AOSP feel ROM with some amount of interesting and important customizations. Now, what will be interesting for me to check in this particular ROM, when I review it, I will have to go ahead and, you know, check all the customization options that are available in this particular rom let me know in the comment section guys what do you think about kraken os or kraken rom for the pocophone f1 so give this video a like if you liked this particular video and stay tuned because there are a lot of installs and previews that are coming your way until the next one this is kalash signing off at smartphone tutorials keep smiling take care goodbye